What's up, guys and gals? Welcome to Beer World. Hooray. The Honker Burger ha apparently has beer now, so that's pretty cool. That'll allow us to get rid of some of these pesky hops over here. Uh, another thing that I would recommend doing, actually, for right now, is I would recommend putting in a tool cabinet on this side. A cabinet in which to bear our tools. It's expensive, but it makes all the crafting benches that are attached to it a lot more efficient. I'm also going to reinstall this over on this side right here because we have access to a brewery now, which is a very, very interesting little piece of technology and one that I'm interested in utilizing. But unfortunately, with the way that I've laid out the floor here, I need to move it around slightly. We will get to work brewing as rapidly as possible. In the previous episode, we'd went a little Sweeney Todd on some people. I don't know. We went a little repo. We got a little, we got a little bit. You know, that, that was surprisingly better than I expected it to be. I, I expected Repo to be really, really overrated, and then I saw it, and I was like, oh, you know, I can see why people like it. Like, it's not necessarily my thing, but I enjoyed it all the way through. Like, yeah, it was alright. It was a weird movie, though. I mean, I saw the movie. I didn't see the stage production. I saw the movie, which was weird as all hell. But it makes sense. I mean, if you got a Repo Man for cars, you figure you have Repo Man for organs. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a movie slash stage production called Repo, which essentially it's a dystopian future where people can modify their bodies like like Shadowrun style. And so contemplate for a minute what happens if somebody installs a cyber arm on you and you don't pay your debts. What do they do? They send the Repo Man. And the Repo Man is basically this like nuked out assassin who comes to steal your organs in the middle of the night if you don't like pay your bills. But everybody's poor, but everybody needs medical care, and so anyway, it's a pretty good, it's, it's very gothic though, it's very dark, it's very gothic, it's very much going for kind of that whole The Crow type vibe. The Crow on steroids. And it's, it's not bad. Not a bad film. I enjoyed it. In fact, I'll probably watch it again tonight. I haven't watched it in a couple of years. But I, I remember enjoying it and thinking it was cool. Not necessarily like my deal with regards to, uh, the tone or whatever, but still a cool show. There we go. Bring that metal back over here. Yup. See, we were just waiting for Harley to bring the metal back. They thought it died in the 80s, but nope. It's right there in Harley's hands. In Harley's hands. We got a broken down cooler. Truth is, that's going to happen more and more. The more electronics we install, the more frequently we're going to have to have like full electronics repairs done. It's just kind of one of those things. Wow, that thing really was busted. Okay, so now they move the light over right there. Now we want to put in our hops production. Beer is great because it allows people to blow off steam. Just like in real life, beer is great in moderation. You don't want your guys sitting around drinking all the time. But if you can craft some beers, like whenever they're down, they can just drink beer and they can kick back at the table and talk with each other. It does wonders for morale in hard times, like after a bunch of people died. Or maybe you harvest the eyeballs out of somebody's face while they're still alive and kicking. You know, these are the things we, we discuss here. What did I build that brewery out of? Do you get to choose? Maybe with the brewery, you don't get to choose. Yeah, you don't get to choose with the brewery. We are going to need to make an advanced research table soon, and i got to choose something to do our... Let's do microelectronic basics, because that'll give us access to the comms console. And then from there, once we have the comms console, we'll be able to contact other settlements. And we can actually do some vague diplomacy in order to keep ourselves trucking. That toolkit's going to make this a lot more useful. There was a steel improvised turret, which is broken down. That's weird considering it's not even optional right now. It's not even functional right now. I think that's a feature that should probably be amended. Uh, that's a little bit of a bummer that it can break when it's not even on. I mean, I guess just wear and tear and weathering and all that, but still. All right, so for the brewery, brew some beer. Do until we have, let's say, 25 beers for right now. 25 beers. These are frozen still. It looks like the weather has gotten better. Let me go ahead and get rid of that right there. Lumi is still hauling things. That's all that I really wanted from my squad right now. I just needed people to go pick up all the stuff that's laying all over the topography. We have a poor mood on Nono. I think Nono is predisposed to these poor moods. Like, I don't know what's going on with this guy, but I swear to God... Every time. So take off the tattered apparel. He's got an armor vest, but it's shoddy. Just have him take it off. 
That'll help out with his mood a little bit. That'll help him recover by like five or so. He's sick. He's feeling bad. He's in a moderate amount of pain. Has he taken treatment for his muscle parasites recently? Yes, he has. It's probably just the moderate pain and the sick. I mean, we can't do much about the muscle parasites. Ain't no such thing as muscle replacements just yet. I'm actually going to cancel that bill right there. We front stocked enough food to where I'm not worried about it anymore. Let's, uh, anybody that needs a little bit of joy, get their joy back. Get it a feel. Eventually, Chef will join us. We will be successful. It's just he's got a 5% chance. Are his skills even that good? He's pretty good at cooking. He's pretty solid at crafting, so yeah. We kind of want him. His crafting is really, really good. He'll actually take the, uh... He will more than likely take a little bit of the onus of survival off of Nono. I want you to rest until healed over there. Somebody will come by with a med kit in a minute. We could absolutely use a second doctor, too. There you go. Get him patched up. Getting rid of muscle parasites is going to be concerning. As far as sculpting goes, yeah, it looks like we've still got those queued up. That's fine. We've made seven beers so far. They will help themselves, by the way. So be careful. Like, they will legit, like, just walk off with beers sometimes. How much do beers stack to? 10? Thinking I'm going to need another storage solution before too long. I don't think we, uh... Sounds like somebody's pissing in a bottle over there. Although, given our relative expertise at... Given our relative expertise at craft beer... Wouldn't be surprised. Hmm, actually, no, let's not do that. I'll take that back. I'm going to clear out some of these stones, too, so that we got better building space without having to panic ourselves too much. And as far as structures go, we'll drop another door in right there, another door in right there. Obviously, we've got a ridiculous surplus of wood, so we'll go ahead and do that. That needs to be mined. Did I already set that up to be mined? Well, here. Yeah, actually, it looks like it's already been set up to be. Okay. That's all right. Yeah, no, no, unfortunately. I think it's just because he's in so much pain all the time due to the problems he's got with his disease. Really kind of jamming him up. Once we get Chef, I'll be able to take somebody else off cooking. So it looks like we've got Hermione on cooking right now. And so I'll be able to take her off of it. We'll put Chef on it. We will take Chef and put him on just about everything that has to do with crafting. Oh, well, we'll probably just go with that then. We'll just go with the crafting. We'll take Nono off of it. And we'll put him on crafting. But yeah, he'll be a useful character. We kind of just got to get him situated. Toxic Fallout. A distant chemical fire has raised a plume of poison over the entire region. Any person not under a roof will be slowly sickened by toxic dust settling out of the atmosphere. It will last anywhere between a few days to over a month? Holy shit. Well, I mean, I guess prepare medical beds then. We don't really have an option. Yeah, prepare some medical beds and get those ready in case somebody gets sick. Anybody not under a roof will get sick. How long does it take? Oh, and we had a raid. Where's the raid coming from? Oh, they're back. Okay. Not that concerned about tribesmen, to be honest, but they are apparently back. So we will designate a toggle power, and if nobody gets on it anytime soon, we'll deal with that a bit later. Go ahead, and I'm actually going to cancel a lot of these orders. Let's go ahead, and we will watch. So how fast do you get sick? I've never had this event before. This is completely and totally new. After the raid, I may go look at the wiki and see 
how to get around this because I've never seen this event before. There's a new one for me. Please don't break my turret. Yikes. That's a lot of dead folks. Another one named Banastra. Hmm. Well, we've got a uh, wonderful selection of clubs, if anybody's into that. I would suggest that if this guy's any good, who's knocked out, that we take him along. He's a Muffalo Shaman. He's yet another Night Owl. He'd be okay for manual labor, I guess. Nobody else done made it, though. Excellent bows. We've got Pila. Which, of course, is the plural of Pilum. We've also got a local hare, which has gone mad. I hate it when my hair goes mad. I do my best. Well, I mean, people don't look too bad. I mean, body's got to get buried and cleaned up. We still haven't pulled Chef down in. I don't know if I want to recruit him. I guess recruit him. We'll throw him in a dark room somewhere, and we'll try to recruit him at the end of the day. I don't really want to use my medicine on him, though, so we'll use herbal medicine on him, and hopefully he'll feel better. There it is. So we'll go for the prisoner, herbal medicine, chat and recruit. Worst case scenario is we release him back to Campbell Olga, and if we release him to Campbell Olga... Hey, the dog's hauling. He's hauling the meal. No, no, can you do me a favor here and melee attack a rabbit? Thank you. You've got a spear. This shouldn't be that difficult. Go ahead and bury tape ear. Thusly named because he wore tape on his ear. All the time, it was his favorite possession. The best of what he had. That which inspired him. I don't know why this guy won't, like, turn over. This guy is really, really... He's resisting. He's not feeling it. He's not feeling it at all. Uh, part of the problem is we just don't have anybody that's good at social stuff. I mean, that's pretty much a large portion of this. I think my doctor is sleeping right now, so we if we lose that guy, I don't really care. If he gets an infection, we'll just harvest his organs or whatever. Make that happen. Did the dog just pick up a club? Dude, the dog just picked up a weapon. Yes, I love our society. I love the shenanigans and funny things that happen here. I mean, on the plus side, it's an opportunity to practice. On the plus side, it's an opportunity for her to practice. Oh, toxic buildup. Initial. Well, like, can I put her... So let's say that I take somebody and put them inside... Like, what am I supposed to do with that? You know, like, I don't get how you're supposed to... Let me go look it up. So apparently I just need to cancel all my work. It seems like this is actually kind of a doomsday event. Uh, people are saying that this should definitely be respected and you should just, like, keep people locked down. Basically cancel out all your tasks and just assume the worst. And so that's what I'll do. I'm going to hold on to people and we'll see how this goes. Like, they seem to be pretty dead set on going outside, though. I suppose I could turn everybody off everything. We've got enough meals to last for a little while. And it doesn't hurt to go outside, so... Cook a fine meal. Yeah, cook fine meals. Do... Until you have, oh, I don't know, 25 of them? Just keep people indoors working on shit. There we go. With the work menu... I may have to bottom all this out. So, essentially, we've just got to ride this out, and it could last for several months. Uh, this is a bad event. 
Some people have said that this is like a, oh, I wish I hadn't done that. There are still people who are good at crafting. You do crafting. You do crafting. You do crafting. Just keep people indoors, basically. Just don't let them go out and do anything. There. Oh yeah, no hauling. Nobody haul. We'll just have to redo this later. I do wish there was like a town bell button you could click to let people know they're supposed to stay inside and like not go anywhere. There may in fact be one. But... So we got the research going, we've got the sculpture going. Let's go ahead and we'll add another bill to make button down shirts, sure, why not? Like six of them. Her mind has a poor mood. This would be the definite time when we wanted to install some kind of like chessboard or something like that so that they can just be happy all the time. I would suggest we just kind of fill this in here. Just let it have a big gap of happiness. And if they don't accomplish anything, they don't accomplish anything. I mean, what am I going to do, you know? They already fixed the turret, so if we get a raid, that should be fine. See, and they're still managing to be outside, like, all the time somehow. I can make zones. So I can make restricted zones and make it so they can't go anywhere out here. They're only allowed to be inside the buildings, but then... It gets sketchy because then I've got to let them go outside to get food and stuff like that, though, and so... I'm going to turn her off cleaning, too. I, I think she's outside too much, so... Let's go ahead and kill off cleaning as well as a thing. Initial toxic buildup. Actually, hers isn't that bad. Does it fall off with time, or does it just stay in your bloodstream? Looks like Lumi's is pretty bad. Hers is really bad. Nono's is not so terrible. Her mine's is not so bad. Yeah, that was not the event that we needed right now. Is nobody going to firefight? Because they should firefight. Put out the fire? How come nobody's putting out the fire? Hey, everybody, there's a fire! Come help with this before we all burn to death. There. Firefighting done. Go back to bed if you need to, but stop messing around with fires. Now she got food poisoning, too. What a day, right? What a day. No, no, how come you're not crafting? Pretty sure I gave you a crafting order. So you should totally... Oh, he doesn't have art enabled. Gotcha. I like how there's little particles in the air, though. It's kind of an interesting event, however. I guess, uh, I suppose it depends how long it lasts. Like, I don't know how long a month is. Like, there's seasons. It said it might last several months. So I'm not sure how that all plays in. 
We also appear to have lost a wire out here somewhere. Yeah. So somebody gonna have to build it. I don't like this event. This event is upsetting. This event causes difficulties for me. Especially when your idiot peasants are just standing out in the rain for no apparent reason. Come on, man. It is fall. I could probably kill a lot of the coolers now. Will you just stop standing around outside? Like... Ugh. We're also having storage issues. Which was what that was for before the toxic thingy hit us. So get the materials. What's the problem? The problem is we don't have stone cutting. Gotcha. Sometimes I feel like you guys are doing your best just to be stupid. Like trying really, really hard. Let me see if I can make like a don't be here zone. Let's see. Probably not the best time for this. Probably not the best time for this event, because I don't actually know how to counteract it. This seems like an event that's tailor-made for people that like to dig into the walls and have their entire society be inside. But if you've got an outdoor colony, this event's kind of rough. This event is really, really rough. Either way, we're out of time for the day. I will see you all next time. This is Rim World. Get yourself some. How do you do, everybody?